coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report, Indiana's Sportscaster of the Year. Well, there were no paparazzi involved, but gig lines rolling out the red carpet on Monday night. The latest group of legends from Northeast Indiana joining the Indiana Football Hall of Fame. They are Roosevelt Barnes, Bob Bergeron, Chris Ditto, Chandler Harnish, and Glenn Steele. Josh Ayan has the story on these five getting the call to the hall. Monday was all about celebrating some gridiron greats right here at Gag Lines. We're talking five local luminaries forever being cemented in the lore of Indiana football. Now, a whole variety of generations being represented from the 70s to even the early 2000s. And all these players are proud to have grown their roots right here in Northeast Indiana. Well, there's ups and downs and um, things to be asked, playing different positions and this and that because it's such a small school. but. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm from Ligonier, I always will be from Ligonier, and I'm proud of being from Ligonier, and that's the way I look at it. I can remember championships and uh, getting drafted, getting a scholarship to go to, to NIU, and, uh, but, you know, some of the things I remember the most are just the relationships uh, I created with, uh, you know, lifelong friends now and coaches and um, just that camaraderie that is built, and, and then hopefully some of those life lessons that I get to pass on to my kids. I obviously didn't go out and beat heads like they did. I didn't lift as much weight as they did. But they recognized I worked hard at what I did. And I became good at it and helped them achieve their goals and gain their respect from that. That's probably what I have the most pride in. It means a lot for them to be here. And they've heard for years just kind of stories about my glory days of playing football. And I know they um, probably get sick of hearing it, but it's still fun to to talk about and relive the memories that are incredible and um, still fortunate to have those memories and be able to talk about it a little bit today. Now, Roosevelt Barnes was unable to make it to Monday's induction ceremony, but if you want to hear from the rest of the enshrinees, you can find those full interviews right now on the Wayne.com sports page. From Gag Lines, I'm Josh Ayan with Wayne 15 Sports.